Welcome back to Nasheed and very, very much thanks for staying with us. Now, I'd like to send you to the social media platforms. That's Facebook and Instagram. Follow us at Nasheed Y254. Press the like button, follow, comment and also ask questions. We'll be very glad to hear from you. Now, let's get back to a few things that we were talking about. Tuliamua kuwa hapo we will talk about the sita to shawal. I want to ask just one question. It don't feel tested, yes. but I just want to ask one question because of the benefits of the shawal. Yes. There, uh, if someone uh, fasts sitta to shawal after the 30 days or 29 days of the month of Ramadan, it's like they have fasted for an entire year. That's true. Now, my question is just very simple, just to begin on a lighter note. Yes. Who among us is fasting the sitta to shawal? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not fasting. Honestly, I'm not fasting today. <laughs> and the reason I'm not fasting is that um, uh, I wanted to begin tomorrow. Uh-huh. And the reason is uh, on Thursday, I was still invited by many of my friends. The Christian friends, I invited my home. They invited me. Uh-huh. And uh, today is Friday. Every Friday after Swala, many times I go and have uh, biryani or pilau with my friends. I didn't want to cut them short. So I'll begin tomorrow, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. <laughs> How about you? Uh, according to my understanding, I think uh, we can fast shawal any time. It's not, uh, does it have to be immediately Is after the, uh, Ask, answer him. Is your answer yes <laughs> or no fast? No, I'm planning to fast it, but I'll start next week. Thank next you. Week, inshallah. Yeah. Mm. I'm also not fasting the sita to shawal, mm. but uh, you, you, you might have to correct me for my reason. Yes. Um, I understand that the Eid can be celebrated on three consecutive days. Mm, and not Eid al-Fitri. Not Eid al-Fitri. Eid al-Adha. So it is Eid, Sunnah yeah. to celebrate it three days. So That's why they are called in Islam, uh-huh. Ayyamu Tashriq. Uh-huh. Three days. Three days. Yes. So thanks very much for that correction. Welcome, and I also wanted to, uh, to ask this question because for the benefit of the viewers and anyone who might have heard me saying to them that there are three extra days, mm. so I will wait until I fast later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, in fact, Fatma has mentioned something very important. Uh-huh. You know, she had already begun starting, she has already begun starting being a sheikha. Yeah. And you know, if Fatma follows me on Facebook, on Twitter and everything for only one year, She'll, she can sit for an exam uh-huh. and start becoming a shaykha. I will because make sure. I always post many uh, Islamic things in my Facebook, Google, Twitter, and everything. And of course, there are many uh, Google articles. If you just Google Dr. Hassan Kenya, mm-hmm. you get many articles in Google which I have written. Now, because I want to compete with Fatma, <laughs> yes. and because I also want the viewers to compete with Fatma <laughs> to get that knowledge, yes. because mashallah, see, she's a very good example. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. I would like you to mention your social media platforms. How do we find you on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other platforms in which you the are? Best, I, the best I tell people, the best is just to Google Dr. Hassan Kinyua. Uh-huh. You'll see many things. Uh-huh. But uh, if you go, just go to Facebook, it is Hassan Omari. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are others. There are, you just Google ha- Dr. Hassan Kinyua uh-huh. and you'll see many things and you can follow me. That's really fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> now, coming back to Sita Shawal, yeah. so that uh, viewers uh, get uh, the lesson uh, nicely, correctly, as Fatma was saying, mm-hmm. the month we are in now in Islam is called Shawal. Uh-huh. Today, according to the calendar I follow, uh-huh. is second of Shawal. Yeah. According to the calendar Fatma is following, it's is third, third of Shawal. Shawal. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, Sita to, it's called Sita to Shawal. The best, mm-hmm. the best is to fast immediately after Eid. Uh-huh. That day after Eid. It's haram to fast on Eid. On you cannot Eid. fast on Eid. Yeah. But from the day after Eid, it's good to start that day so that uh, now after s- six days, the seventh day becomes your second Eid. Uh-huh. They call it Eid Ya Sita. Mm-hmm. That's the best way. But if you can't, then you just have to do like many people do, Monday, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, Monday, mm-hmm. Thursday, so that by the time the, uh, the month ends mm-hmm. or we're in the third week, you have already finished the sitter. Uh-huh. That is another option. 
But you see, there are also people who have not fasted the complete Ramadan, uh -huh. and among them, most of them are ladies, because they must have had, uh, unless they're in menopause. Yeah. Those who are not menopause, the young ones, mm -hmm. they must have menstruated. Mm -hmm. So if you menstruated one, two, three days, they count them, so they have to pay after uh, eight, uh -huh. those six days. Yeah. So scholars are divided in their views, but I go, I like going by the view of scholars who say that they can fast sita combined with pain. So the sita will stand for those days that they're paying for. Yes. So when they make intention at night, they make intention of two things at once. Mm -hmm. I like going by that to make religion uh, easy for ladies. Uh -huh. But there are scholars who say that no, they must uh, pay the days they have missed. Then after that, pay sita. Mm -hmm. But the best is to advise women. I'm not talking of men. Yeah. You know, men who didn't fast, they had their own things. But for women, because that was a natural thing, yeah. they just put two intentions in one. Mm -hmm. Allah, I'm fasting now to repay my Ramadan mm -hmm. and also fast Sita. So she gets two in one. Okay, uh, for those people uh, who don't know whether Sita is, uh, is the wajib or not. It's sunnah. It's sunnah. sunnah. So if you don't fast it, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay, but the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Man swama ramadwana, thumma atba'ahu bisittim min shawal faka anna ma swama dahar au kama kal. That anyone who fasts Ramadan, then follow it up with sitta of shawal, it's like he has fast for one year. I'll give a reason to non-Muslims. In Islam, Islam is a very good religion. If you do anything good, one, you get ten. Uh -huh. So if you give one shilling, before Allah, you have 10, ten or even more, but 10, you are sure. Uh -huh. And uh, so if you fast Ramadan 30 days, how many days have you fasted? That's uh, 300. 300 days. That's why you have to add six days, so that uh, six times 10 is 60, so that you have 360. Oh, 60, yeah. That is the logic behind uh, fasting six to have a complete year. That's a very interesting mathematics. Now, I just want you to clarify one thing uh, about how people fast the Shawwal. If someone decides that they will fast the sitta to shawal, like you've said, two days in each week, so that by the end of the month, yes. they have fasted six days in yes. the month of shawal. Yes. And uh, what happens if someone decides to fast that way and they forget a, a certain number of days and the shawal passes? What happens? There's no problem. They'll get reward for only the, th the days they have fast. Uh -huh. The days they have not fast, they it's just leave it. Because you cannot, you cannot fast sita to shawal mm -hmm. out of shawal. Out of shawal. You can't. Yeah. Ramadan, you can fast any month mm -hmm. because it is wajib and far. Yeah. But for shawal, if you miss, for example, you, you, you started fasting three days, mm -hmm. then you forget, that's all. That's You'll all. get tawab for only three days, you don't get uh, sins for the other days you have not fasted. And you don't repair them. Uh -huh. As soon as shawal is over, you cannot repair the shawal thing in any other month because it's sunnah. Yeah, it's left here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there's some people who are saying that uh, if you start fasting shawal, mm. you don't stop. Like, uh, even if the other Ramadan comes, you have to keep no. on fasting no. shawal. Those people just mislead people. Mm -hmm. uh, they are just misleading people. And uh, those are lessons we were getting when we were young. Myself also, I didn't start fasting uh, sita till I looked the book and understood it. Mm -hmm. Because many sheikhs were saying that if you start fasting one day, you must complete. If you don't complete, there are you many repercussions which will get you in your life. And in fact, they, are, they were saying it in two ways. Yeah. If, for example, this year, you start shawal today, just as you are saying, then you become sick or anything, mm -hmm. you must complete six. Mm -hmm. What they were saying. Actually, I've heard that several times. No, you yeah. can fast two days. But you see, it's good to follow the hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that you complete the six days. Mm -hmm. But if you don't complete, there's no sin. And if you start this year, Fatma, then next year you are not okay, just leave it. It's sunnah. Okay. Yes. So I think uh, for those who are watching from home, they will be like, uh, they don't have to fast it. If they, if they fast it this, uh, this year, next year, it will be like optional. But, they, but they we encourage them to fast. Do. Fatma fasting is good, Allah. I know. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, Fatma, what you don't know, is that there are many people who admire even the way you are looking. And uh, I've always met people outside, they're saying, well, Sheikh, you are very, you are very, very lucky to be in a studio <laughs> with Fatma and with uh, our brother. Because the two of you are very good body. 
as soon as you start getting the board like mine, my brother, <laughs> there are many things which will be a problem to you. So for yeah. both of you, fasting is good, and you encourage people to fast so that they maintain your bodies. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is, yeah, we love fasting. That is, I have a question for you. So, you know, uh, when we are in Ramadan, people are like praying every day, they're doing the good deeds. But now that Ramadan is over, it's like uh, people are kind of, uh, they are uh -huh. So, you know, like praying every day the way we used to. Mm. Uh, so, they what the can Jum'a you advise actually. to people exactly, yeah. like uh, to continue their life after Ramadan? You know, uh, the best thing to do is that uh, everything you are doing during Ramadan, you continue doing them. The only thing you cannot doing, continue doing is Taraway. Uh -huh. Because Taraway is only in Ramadan. Yeah. And you see, we must always try to better ourselves. Mm -hmm. But Quran is very clear. It says that Balil insanu, uh, Baliridul insanu liyaf jura amama. Human beings always want to distract themselves, mm -hmm. spiritually, economically. So it's good to continue being the best we are before Ramadan. Let's continue the same spirit. I've said uh, like uh, the, the last Friday of Ramadan, mm. I prayed with these uh, women and they were crying mm. because uh, Ramadan is uh, going, mm. it's, uh, it's the end of Ramadan. Mm. So is there a visible to cry? Like they were crying like they were like... No, it, it's okay It's okay to cry. They are uh -huh. not the only one. Even me, I cried so much. I always cry. Subhanahu. And uh, you know, uh, during Eid day, uh, one of my friends from Meru, uh, he has a big farm. He told me, Wallah, Sheikh, sina shukuru zana buwana. Kamuza waya. He told me, today, I'm selling Mira. 10 pro boxes. You know, he was sending only two during Ramadan. He told me, <laughs> Leo da tuma gumi, if he was joking or not, but it was true. You know, I decided to, uh, this Ramadan, this Eid, I went to uh, Langata Bar um, uh, graves uh -huh. to pay tribute to my friends who died there, almost all of them. Mm -hmm. And I was also spotting all the graves which are not uh, made visit for by anyone to pray for them. Not praying the graves, to pray for those for people because uh -huh. it's big sooner. Yeah. And uh, something touched me. Wallahi be like light. When I was going through the graves, I came and realized that there are four good friends who died, and I didn't know they are, they are, they are dead. Wallahi, I didn't know. I saw the graves, and I was saying, Ay, oh, Jamal Kufaga. Then I started calling the, the people, telling me, yes, they died. I didn't know. Uh -huh. You see, visiting the, the dead. And then I took advantage of also planting trees that day because it was World Environmental Day. Uh -huh. And I was planting trees with some of my students, almost 20 students from universities. We also went to Karioko. We did the same. Mm -hmm. And when I passed through uh, Pumwan, that area, during Ramadan I was passing, there was no crowd. But that day, Wallahi, I could see Mabuibui Makanzu with Mira Kiasihi. Mm -hmm. I said, Subhanallah, Malik al Kudus, what is wrong? But at least I said, at least Awan Wazuri, what about those who go out now? to take alcohol and other things. So for the youth, please maintain your Iman. Please continue, continue being the best youth you can be so that when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll be among the best youth, inshallah. Today when I attended the uh, Jum'ah prayer, no. uh, the Sheikh who gave the sermon, he talked about the hadith which we once mentioned here, the hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said alayhi. that he, he went up the mimbar and each step he made going up the three steps, he said, Amin. Amin. And he also mentioned something that was very interesting, that after the taraway, and I could relate to it, he left the masjid after the taraway and he would find people who have just been in the taraway, they've taken iftar together and they go there uh, and, and, and when you're walking on the streets, you find people eating uh, hot and all that. Mm. Do they ever get the blessings of the Ramadan? And even after someone returns to their bad deeds that they've been doing, what happens to the Ramadan they've just fasted? Do they lose it completely? No, you don't lose. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran, wa ma lamin lil abid. Mm -hmm. Your Lord is not uh, oppressive to his creation. Uh -huh. You ha you still have your Ramadan uh, rewards completely. Uh -huh. You know what Swahili say, Mamungu si, Athumani. The reason is Allah doesn't operate like human beings. Mm -hmm. You know, as human beings, and that's why, for example, when uh, you can marry a woman, uh, you take her to school. Yeah. I've seen it. I'm giving examples I've seen. Yeah. You take her to school. Maybe she comes from a very poor family. Mm -hmm. You take her to school. You pay for her maybe secondary school from four. Uh -huh. You take her to university. Uh -huh. When she finishes, you even get her job with your influence. Yeah. Then when she starts getting money, she tells you, what are you? Then you just divorce. Then she tells you, I've never done anything good in my life. Exactly. What like people say. Uh -huh. And that's why Quran tells us, uh, 
by Nakum. Don't forget the bounties which you have had amongst yourself. Uh -huh. So Allah doesn't continue, uh, doesn't operate that way. Mm -hmm. Allah cannot uh, erase your good deeds because of the bad deeds you are, you are doing. Mm -mm. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is generous because he says eh, that وَأَتْبِ إِسَّيِّئَةَ الْحَسْنَةَ تَمْحُوحَ Follow bad deeds with good deeds because good deeds wipe out the bad deeds. Uh -huh. But bad deeds don't wipe out good deeds. That is the best thing with uh, Islam. And that's why I keep on telling people, even today, I was telling people in the mosque, yeah. that uh, it is very difficult for a moment to enter hellfire. Mm -hmm. well, I keep on saying this, and uh, but, uh, there's no contradiction. No, any Muslim, and who, do, who does good deeds, who maintain the five, uh, five uh, salah, uh -huh. will enter hellfire. Because in the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be putting the good deeds on the right side, uh -huh. on the scale, yeah. and the bad deeds on the scale. Uh -huh. Do you know how someone goes to hellfire or Jannah? It's if only the, the scale. Tips. When the scale tips, the good ones tips, uh -huh. you go to Jannah. Uh -huh. If the, but the other one tips, you go to hellfire. Uh -huh. Now, my brother, any good deed you do, you get ten. Every bad thing you do, you get you one. Get one. Well, like anyone who enters hellfire in the day of judgment should not blame Allah, should blame themselves. I think in that regard then, if someone does good deeds, you get ten blessings, so you get two, ten rewards. And someone who does bad deeds gets, I don't know, they get one, one reward. For each. Then it means if, if it's going to get you to hell, then you must have been a professional sinner. Of course. Of course, and I always <laughs> keep on telling people that, uh, and that's why everyone I meet, I always tell them yeah. you'll go to Jannah. Everyone who dies, and I go, to, because many friends call me to pray for them when they're dying, I always tell them uh -huh. you are going to Jannah. Because I'm praying for them, and yeah. they'll go to Jannah. Mm -hmm. And uh, But you see, there are sheikhs, every time they talk, they talk of people going to hellfire. Every time you go to mosque, they talk of hellfire. Yeah. People th think that they are people of hellfire. No, many people will go to Jannah, and that's our prayer. And uh, so that we allow Fatma to speak, because I see her, uh, I don't want to speak. There's a day one person was passing through people. Yeah. And then people were saying, oh my God, this was a very good person, good person. The prophet said so that person is going to Jannah. Mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad was Yeah. And then another one was passing after, ah, this person was bad. We are thanking Allah. He said that person, subhanallah. <laughs> then he was asked, why are you saying so? He said, antum shuhadaullahi. Feel earth, you are the witnesses of Allah on earth. So people or whom people say that that's a good person, that person will enter Jannah. And I'm praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everyone Amen. watching us today, inshallah, we meet in Jannah. Amen. I'm praying for everyone watching today, inshallah, that you be among the people who will enter Jannah. And when you see me in Jannah, inshallah, and me and uh, Abdul Razak and Fatma, tell us, assalamu alaikum, inshallah, you prayed for us, and now we're in Jannah. Jazakumullah khair. Yeah. So did you just say uh, for every good deed that you do, you get 10 rewards? Uh -huh. Yes. And also for the bad deeds that you do, you get uh, only, only one, one sin. Each, yes. So me, according to my thinking, I was, uh, I was thinking that um, every sin is different. Like okay. when you kill someone and when you steal attention, is it the same? Uh, you no. Get? Sins are different. Mm -hmm. In Islam, we have a major sins yes, major and sins. Uh, minor yeah. sins. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you see, even a major sin mm -hmm. is one. You, if you kill a one person, you, you have one person who have, whom you have killed. But you save, if you save one person, then you have saved 10 people. So let me ask you, mm. when you kill and when you sin, it's the same? Like you get one one? Mm, yes, Fatma. Let us un understand this way. The eating. magnitude. Uh -huh. You see, sins have magnitudes. Mm -hmm. If you go for Hajj, what happens? All your sins are forgiven. Yeah. When you fast Ramadan from the beginning to the end, what happens? All sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So all deeds have different rewards. Uh -huh. But the magnitude is, is different. Okay. So uh, I have this question. Yes. When we're fasting and also when we have the noble days, we still worship the same Allah, right? No. So according to my thinking, I was thinking that uh, those people who are so much into deen, they're praying, they're waking up for Kiamulayli, they're reading so much Quran during Ramadan, it's like they are worship Ramadan. Because when Ramadan is over, if we kind of backslide and get back to a normal life, like we're eating mira, and then uh, we, 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 we're not praying, we're not reading. Because our Quran mostly, it's full of dust. Mm -hmm. 
So the only time, like most of the people, like the yeah, only it's time it's we're very true. Is, like when uh, we're not, like when we're fasting, so we're reading Quran, mm. we want to finish Quran by the time the Ramadan is over. But when Ramadan is over, it's like worshiping again a different God. Mm. So don't you think maybe uh, people when, when we're addressing the people watching at home? We are worshiping the same God. The God that you're worshiping during Ramadan is the same God that are worshiping the other time. You're very right. Yeah. So we shall just live our life because they say uh, Islam is a lifestyle, right? Yeah. So the way we're living in Ramadan is the same way we should live even after uh -huh. Ramadan. Uh -huh. So Ramadan is just a holy month, but we should continue living this. Yes. But uh, Fatma, you know, human beings uh -huh. are always there for bonus. You see when your friends call you, hey, kuna boma, bonus ya Safaricom, kuna promo ya Airtel, kuna promo, you see? Exactly. And Ramadan is a promo time. Yeah. You know, Ramadan, Fatma, every deed you do is 700 times. Yeah. Scholars tell you 70 times, but I'm telling you 70. Because 70 times 10 is 700. Mm -hmm. That's okay. why people do it during Ramadan. And the reason sure. people read, read Quran is because it was re re revealed in Ramadan. Ramadan. But let's continue doing the same thing we are doing Ramadan, inshallah, for the sake of our lives. That is very important, and I really wish you would have gone on and talked about that. There is one thing that you mentioned that I would really have liked, to, uh, I would have liked us to go back to it, but we really have got to go, and, and, and I just hope that, inshallah, we're going to get another time to get more knowledge from you, inshallah. I have only two things I've got to mention to you before we finish here. For those who do not understand what the word Jannah means, in Arabic, it means heaven. So the Sheikh was praying oh, that we all meet in heaven or paradise and also i'd like to remind you that if you've just joined us right now find us on youtube that's on y254 youtube channel and you can watch this and other programs that were there on other fridays and keep watching us inshallah so with i'd like to say to thank hassan for being here with us because you've really enlightened us yep. okay. so we like to be with you here most of the time so that you can keep on you know we as muslim uh hadija kamilika mm -hmm. sometimes we think that we know so much but we really don't know yeah so it's good that we keep on reminding ourselves like for me i've learned a lot today Shukran. thank you yeah so to everybody at home we all would like to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Thank <laughs> you.